Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. So I'm going to drop one there as well. Then we're going to come back out and we're going to come all the way over here, right up against that airport. And then it's going to come on round over here. I've got a bus stop there already. So that one there is doing all of that bit. And this one over here is doing other bits. We've already got bus stops in here. Do I put another one here? I don't think I will. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do any more than that. So then I will go here. So we want line one. Right there. Let's get rid of that. And there's the first stop on line one. And then I come through to here. And I go up to that one. All the way over to that side. I'm thinking maybe that bus stop ought to be moved up over here a little bit. It'll be all right. Then that one over to there, we go up round the two. And then... Yep, I do need to go this way. I need to go up there so that it goes past that one. So then it comes back past that one there, and then it goes over to the airport over here. Ah, it doesn't come up there. It goes in through this way. I didn't think that was actually public road. That's all right. So that comes in through there, and then it goes back over to that side. So I've got nine stops on this bus route. Then I'm going to go into here and buy road vehicles. So our buses that we have a choice of are the Sora Tusha, which takes 13 passengers and does 50k, the Mercedes-Benz, which is 15 and 65, and then the MAN SL192, which is 16 and does 80k. Don't think we're going to need the 80k at any point, but it does take 16 passengers and it's a fairly modern looking bus, so that's the one that we're going to go for. And I'm going to buy six buses to start with. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We're spending money like we've uh, sp spending money like water. And get rid of that. I'm going to keep the train. Actually, no, we don't need to keep an eye on the train anymore. We don't need to worry about that. Not for a minute. So we've got that one on there. Um, the Paris Leon line. Vehicles on here. I want the color, which is that color there. I want everything to match. So that one is all a beautiful, nice yellow. Line one over here. We will do the same on here. We will get the green, which is that green right there. There we have our green buses, and we will also go for a replacement request on there, which is going to be those, and automatic replacement at 100% lifetime. There. Okay. There is one bus route set up. I'm going to go and do the other one before we lose any more money whatsoever. So we will go over this side. We've got there's where the bus stop needs to come out. So, once again, we're going to do the same. We're going to take that one there, and I'm going to rotate that bad boy round like this. And I'm going to put that up close to the train station like that. We'll bring that one in there. I'm going to bring that as close to the train station as I can. I drop that one down there. And then I want to go through the town. And put in some bus stops. Now, are there any roads that I want to alter? I don't think there is. I'm not going to change any roads on this one. So the bus comes out of there and it goes over up against this side. So I need to put a bus stop right there. And then we will go over onto that area right there. And then here. And then over to there. I think we'll just go straight through this side rather than in round there. If I put one up there, that does cover everything. So I'll move that one over to there. And then I will put another one here. Covers a big area there. Because this is quite a big quite a big city, really, isn't it? And Right, of course, now the big question is how far in this way do I go? I'll put one here. Like that. And then I'll put another bus stop there, like that. Because some people have suggested that too many bus stops taking too long to get round discourages people from traveling. So I'd 
don't want to overdo it. I think that might be the last one that I'm... If I got one there and... Thinking, actually, we get rid of that one and I'll move it back up there. Would be the best move. So I get rid of that one there and then... Bus stop. I put that one there instead. It's just moved it back ever so slightly. And then the bus will come out and it will go round and it will go back up into over here. So that's that bit done. Next, I need to go into here. Let me get rid of that bit, the building bit. And we go like that. And I build a new line in here. This is a bright green one. That one is going to go there. And it's going to head out over this part of the city. So it goes out and around. Doing this loop right here. Then from there, it will go up and connect in those two. And then finally, it will connect that one down there. Ten stops on that route right there. And again, I will do six buses on this route. We've already got the Leon Road Depot in place. So right there, one, two, three, four, five, six in there. That leaves us with six and a half million left. Get rid of that. Set line all line two. Right. There's that bit. One last thing that we need to do. We need to go to line two in here. Vehicles. We want to do that, and that is our colour of choice. There we go, with our buses all looking good, and we want replacement set as well. So we will go with the man SL192, and we will turn that one on there. That is fan dabby do. Absolutely wonderful. Perfect in every way. So let's bring this back down here, and I'll put it on to medium speed like that. Out come the buses on their Mary. So we've got rival buses out over here. Okay. We've got rival buses trapped. Ooh. This is what I was waiting for. Was more trains. Well, not trains. More carriages. This is what I was... The carriages is a bit that I've been waiting for. There. we've. Uh, that's the one that we've got at the moment, which has the 140k top speed. This is the one. 200k top speed. That's 1.2 million per carriage with 21 people. That takes 22 people and has a 200k top speed. That's going to make a significant difference. Now, I've only got 6 million at the moment, so I'm going to leave that out for just, just a little bit. Uh, I'll speed this up. Let them start travelling around the town. And we've already got passengers waiting at every bus stop there. So let's go all the way down over to this side. And I can see a load of passengers waiting at this bus stop as well. Which is great. And we've got train uh, people waiting at the trains. At the train station. I've already got people waiting on the Paris Leon line over here. In they come. Right there, 0 16 people on board there. That one's not coming up. So I got one person waiting right there. My bus is. Good they... gracious. Oh. We're spending money like there's no tomorrow. Just this once, our financial backers are willing to turn a blind eye and help us out once again. But this is definitely the last time. All right, take out a loan. Right there. Wait a minute, wasn't there a thing for not take. Never make use of a grant. We've Well, I think we've uh, messed that one up. Um, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I haven't had any passengers come up here yet, but there are passengers moving around the map. There's definitely passengers in here, and they are moving around. That one there. He's got zero on board. This has got two people there waiting. Now, where's our train? I'm going to find the train. I'm too far away from the train right now. Paris Leon. Vehicles. Train 2. Zero of 126 people. Let's go and have a look at the train over here a minute. Let's zoom that out in there. Get rid of that. Right, that goes whizzing through all of these stops. We are approaching the station now. Now, we don't have any people on board at the moment, but I'm hoping that with this train coming out, we're going to get some passengers going on board, getting onto the train right now. We've got at least two people to get on board. And also on top of that, so we're 140k all the way in. 
At least two people ready to get on board. Wait, what? One? One person. There were two people there. He's back up to 140k right there. And it looks like now he should stay at 140k all the way up to the other side. It's going to be interesting to find out how much money we make from this. Uh, line 2 is minus, minus 30k. Line 1 is minus 125. So line 1 seems to be losing money more than line 2. We'll have to wait and see on this. Let's go. All right. Have a look up that way. Which one? Oh, that's Leon up there. So the first line is Leon. So line 1 is Leon. Line 2 is Paris. Paris seems to be actually making... Oh, no. Leon is making money. 106k now. That's, that's dropping down. So it is definitely making... It takes a while to actually show up on here, but it's definitely making some cash. So we got one person on board here at the moment, and there is a person over there waiting at that station. So transport passengers in the current year, zero of 500 at the moment. Now, I want to change this over, and eventually we're going to want two trains, aren't we? Two trains would be beneficial. There's one person there, 47,000, and I've now got six people on board. So I carried one person there, one single solitary person. Uh, I'm going to let it do the trip once more, because I'm hoping that's going to allow these to earn a little bit of money. Line one is just not earning any money at the moment quite sure why that would be whether or not i've made a slight miscalculation here somewhere we haven't got that yet so we're gonna have to get the passengers going first whether i've got i don't have enough buses running it's either i don't have enough buses running or i've got some other problem right you're over here i've got two people waiting there some, there's there's got to be some reason that I don't have anybody. Nobody's using the buses. That seems to be the main issue here is nobody's using the buses. Now, I've got a couple of these in here, but then I've got these right over on the outskirts. So I'm wondering if maybe that one there is a mistake or if I move that one and bring it in a little bit. Bring it in from the outer edge a little bit. Maybe that would be a better thing. Because I, I am getting a little bit of cash coming in from passengers using the service. But there's not very many wanting to use the service. Achieve a journey time between Paris and Lyon of under five minutes. So that one's doing well. And I've just had a little bit of cash come in. But it's not doing anything to compensate for that. But this here, we're definitely, definitely losing money on this station here. So there's three passengers on board there. Four passengers on board there. Let's keep an eye on this. It's these other buses here. I don't really know what these other buses are. Uh, one person got off there. And then the bus goes up round that way. And all the way over to here. This is the bit that I'm wondering about is whether they should be going in this way. Whether it would be faster if that station was over here. I think that's one thing that I'm going to do a minute. We will make a slight alteration to this. We will get rid of that one. And then I will get another one over here. And I'll put it there instead. Like that. So let me go... Get rid of that. And I go to... Wait a minute. You're already on line one, aren't you? You should be. Okay. He's already on line one. I press, I'm, I I did a slight um, boo-boo on that one. Uh, okay. Line one is correctly going through York Road at stop number five. That's good. So that should, I'm hoping, allow things to run through okay. Where's the bus that I was looking at, which is... It was that one, I think. If it wasn't that one, then that's fine. Okay, so we will speed things along again. That one's going up through the old route just temporarily, but that's not going to last very long. 
I'm hoping that's going to make us just make it flow through a little bit better. So this one here has got 11 people on board and they've all gotten out. Which is this one down here, isn't it? Right, that one right there next to the Eiffel Tower has gone in there. I've got seven people on board now. It's coming in here. It's going around here and it's going up to that one. I've got one person on board. Oh! They're going up to the airport. They're going up to the airport. So then this one's coming up here with one passenger in order to get to the train. And that one passenger is staying on board anyway. So why are the passengers not going where I want them to go? There's four people on board this train, this train's bus. And those four people right there, two people have gotten off and they're going over onto this one. There's nobody waiting there at the moment. I got four people on the Paris Lyon train. So maybe it's just too expensive for them. Maybe that's what it is. We've got the airport over here, but I'm not making any money on the airport. And I'm down to just 700k. I'm not making any money at all at the moment. I am losing a huge pile of money. The buses are absolutely not making any money, and neither is this high-speed line that I've got on it. End of the line. It's no use begging and pleading. Our financiers are refusing to put even one more penny into our project. Damn it! That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, because I've only got 40k left. And I was kind of hoping to be able to do something here. So what have I got? I got 12 people there on Paris. 15 people. Ah. 15 people coming through. Now that does take 126 people. I got 16 on there at the moment. I'm thinking I'm going to bring that one all the way back up and we're going to sell every carriage we've got. And then we'll see what else we can do. So I'll let that one go in. I've only got two people waiting here at the moment. You go there. I'll zoom that one out a little bit. Because if I can have that running at 200k rather than what it is at the moment. I think that might be a bit better. There's a Boeing 757 right there. That's a big old hairy plane. But we can't use planes at the moment. I can't do anything with that. I do have road. Maybe I should be setting up some factories. Maybe that's another thing that I need to do. Set up some factory stuff. Right, I've got two people sat here at the Leon station. So I'm thinking I get the train here come up. We get the money off of those passengers. 16 passengers there. And then once I've done that, once they've gone in. i got three passengers there waiting. That's not very many at all, is it? Slow that down to play speed right there. And then change out the center depot. As soon as the people have gone in. To change it to center depot. I've got... Two more people coming up there. You turn round there. 16 people on board. 750,000 centre depot. Right, so I got nobody on board at the moment. That one's going to come into the depot. I'm minus 1.5 million. So I'm not going to be able to replace it with all the carriages that I would like, but we are going to be able to replace it with some carriages. So you're going to go into there, into the depot. As soon as you've gone in there. Get rid of that. The planes over there are very noisy, aren't they? I don't know how I get rid of the planes. Don't know. Right. Let's go into here. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to sell all of these carrot Half a million. Oh, oh, dear. That didn't work. That didn't work. I've only got 1.3 million. Buy trains. Wagons. 
1.9 million is needed for that one. It only takes 22 passengers. I was so close. I was so close to doing that and getting it right. I was. I was absolutely close to getting it right. There's, the, the buses are a pitiful amount, but I could do this. Right, I don't think I've got enough. I, to be honest, I don't think I've got enough buses. Let me go. Let's have a look here a minute. Which is the closest bus to this line? What have I got here? I've got you right there. 16 people on that bus. This line is making money. I can't sell any buses off of this line. But the Paris one, I think I do need to. Let's run down here. I need to just get a tiny, tiny little bit of cash. How can I get a bit of cash? I just, just the smallest amount. Not much. That's not mine. That one's mine now. I've got two buses right here. You've got nobody on board and you've got nobody on board as well. So let's sell both of you. Sell those two buses right there because they're being utterly, utterly useless. Let me do that a minute. They should be going back here. That one's gone on round. Yep, they're both coming back. 1.23 million. By the time they get back, the, the money is going to have dropped. Like the train is going to have cost me a fortune. Now there's 200,000. You right there, sell. 200,000. That's 1.8 million. 1.89 million. So I need one more of my buses. And that is going to be that one there. It's got eight people on it. I don't care. It's got to go. So get rid of that one. That's the closest bus I've got. Is it going to get there before we tick down? If I can just get that bus back and sell it without losing any money, that would be absolutely great. The train is going to cost me a fortune if I'm not careful. So I've only got two buses left on this line. That's fine. That's something that I can cope with. You're coming in here. You're being ridiculously slow getting back, but we're up to 1.88 and... There we go. Right. Pause. Okay, so I've done that. I have stripped out everything that I possibly can out of everywhere that I possibly can. Then we can go buy trains and we can drop down here. We can go to that wagon, buy it for 1.9 million. There. Set line all Paris Leon. Off you go. Right. On your bike, son. Out you go. And this one now should do yes yes that's more like it look at this 200k now we're talking this and it's only costing me 260k each time it ticks through yes it's going to cost me a lot of money it's going to cost me a boatload of money but it's we've certainly sort of um made a step in the right direction the speed that we can now travel between the two stations is quite phenomenal Let's have a look at it on here. That says 19 minute frequency. I'm guessing that's because I've not run it for a while. Approximate annual throughput per station. See, over here, this is 50. Uh, that's 166. So I, de I definitely need to change some things around on here, but I got no money at all. And I think the chances of me actually earning any money are pretty slim. You got nothing there. You got three people on board now. So you go up to 150, 160, 70, 80, 90, and 200k it gets to right there. So we've now set at 200k. And it's going all the way through. So maybe I should have sold some of the carriages that I had to start with. And then carried on doing things. I've got no money now at all, so I can't go and start making use of the industry stuff. I've got no way of doing that at the moment. Whether or not this is something that I will be able to do, whether we'll be able to get the money back, I very much doubt it. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go back to the previous save and change things around ever so slightly so that I can 
speed things up a bit. So I, I know that I, we know exactly what we got to do in order to get this previous save. So there we slowed down to 100k coming in around there. And then 50k coming into the station. That's absolutely fine. So I get 186 there. I got no passengers at all going back the other way. Which doesn't exactly inspire me with a lot of confidence. Nobody's using my high-speed line. All right, if nobody's using... They're coming over here to use the planes. But they're simply not using anything else. So I've got... Another line that runs all the way up through here. Maybe I should have kept the other train and kept that running on the other line. Whether that's the thing I should have done. I've got nothing in that one and i got nothing in the other one either. And then here in this side, I've only got two buses. So they're not doing anything. We're just losing money. It's the only thing we're doing now is we're just losing loads and loads of money. And that's it. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do in order to not lose a, a boatload of money. But losing a boatload of money seems to be the only course of action i got. Nobody's coming up to this station. Right, I've obviously done something wrong here, so I need to stop and uh, uh, load in a new one. Right, I'm at the part where we just needed to start making the bus stops again. So we've already got all of the train stations done. That bit's all taken care of, and all i got to do is start making those bus stops again. So I have a look at the train over here. i got nobody on board, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that one return to the depot right now. And then while we're waiting for that one to return to the depot, we're going to go back over to this side. I've already made that road connection over there. I've got that bit in. I've got the li line one is already set up, except that we want to change line one slightly. I want to get rid of that one and that one. And then I want to go back and I want to go to the bus station. And I want to put a single station right there in the middle. Like that. Which should allow the buses to travel through faster. And I want to get rid of that station right there. Then I will go to line one over here. And I'll get rid of that one. And I'll get rid of that one. So line one goes up to there, goes along this way, through there, over to Victoria Street, up round over there, next to the Eiffel Tower. Then it goes straight over here to Kings Road, up against the um, airport, and then back up here into the station. So that's a nice, simple, easy run on it up there. So that one's done. I haven't bought... Have I bought the buses on there? I don't think I have. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I will then go over to here and we will take this bus tram station right here and we will rotate this bad boy around and we will put that one in there like that. So that was nice and close to the station. It's ready to go. And then I will go with some bus stops here. So we will put our first bus stop over to there. And then I will put one out that side. And then here. One all the way over to there. Kind of want to connect up some of this area over here. But I also want to connect up some of this part of the city as well. Well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again very soon, turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wasteland. But before then, if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.